For the last 10 years, I have been traveling this road daily for work. Next to this road is a river, and on the opposite side of the river is a mountain. This mountain is littered with boulders, bedrock. It's not the type of land that one would expect to find a stone wall like this. Because of the odd location of the stone wall, I started questioning why it was here. I looked into the deed record to see if it could have been farmland at one time, or if it was possible a divider of property. As I learned from the deed record, the first time this land was sold was in 1856. The sheep boom in this area ended in 1840, meaning that this wall was built 16 years after the sheep boom ended. So that eliminated that question. The other question was, could this be property divider? The land itself is one giant property. So this wall does not divide property. So why is it here? That was my question. And my two, the two main reasons why walls are built were kind of ruled out. So I started researching more of what this could be. And one of the possible answers was a Native American stone wall. Come to find out this road is the Crown Point Road. The Crown Point Road follows the Old Indian Road. This is the Black River, and the Black River is a natural corridor between the Connecticut River Valley and the Champlain Lake Valley. And it has been used for the last 12,000 years by the Abenaki, who made ceremonial stone landscapes. The United Southern and Eastern Tribes actually made a resolution in 2007 asking archaeologists and states and federal agencies to start recognizing their work. And they mentioned stone walls, FNGs, stone mounds as some of that work. This wall goes all the way to the top of the mountain, almost to the top of the mountain. It kind of hits the bedrock and stops. But I think this is a good candidate for one of those landscapes because as you can see it is surrounded by boulders bedrock it sits on a very steep mountainside and the deed records show that it was never a reason for a colonial people to create this but say if it was for a ceremonial use it makes much more sense